we have proper, accurate, and detailed information about OSU. We know its members wear civilian clothes. They travel in groups of five people from one ethnic community. They are heavily armed with lethal weapons. They are better facilitated in terms of logistics and transportation, remuneration, communication, and weapons, uh, and weapons and uh, the country's official security agencies. This is a group the last week killed people in Kamukunji, Mlolongo, and Jogo roads. They fired at people from unmarked green, black, gray, silver, red, and white, mostly Subaru vehicles. They also fired from one gray Toyota, uh, Toyota Succeed KBD 612G. Each of the five occup occupants of each of the vehicles was from one ethnic community, as has been stated before. These vehicles are always parked at the traffic police headquarters near the Kenyatta Hospital, at the anti-terror police unit, and Nairobi Regional Headquarters. We restate, we restate that, only, that, that only mission of OSU squad is to assassinate or grievously harm Azumio leaders and Kenyans protesting against harmful government policies. Also, is a squad Kenya Kwanza resolved to cooperate with, supposedly to ensure that there is no loss of life and livelihoods. It is a squad that will kill people tomorrow and during upcoming protests. We thank Kenyans on, on Twitter and on social media because they, they on their part have been able to pick on this killer squad and, and spread it all over. Of course, you are still gathering evidence in this regard. I now call on Mushma Mother Karua to... Some, some uh, oh, yeah, we can hear you. Yeah. We are aware that uh, <clears throat> members of the diplomatic corps have asked for a meeting. And in fact, I've given, because I was given the responsibility to be the convener on our side. Um, so what you have said is news. But what we need to, to reiterate is, of course, we can never say no uh, to um, envoys who are credited to our country. Uh, when they want to meet up with the leadership, we will have to brief them accordingly. It's a briefing business. But to the same envoys who are also bound by the resolutions of the UN um, Human Rights um, Center in Geneva, because they, all the representatives from their respective countries, collectively issued that statement highlighting the fact that um, it is a police who got out and killed our people. We had the very difficult mission of, one, of seeing uh, some of the ki Kenyans who are killed. Uh, three bodies at Shalom Hospital. In fact, the names are there. There are now four. And we know there will be a barrio in Kiminini, for example, one young man, Wanjala, will be buried there on Friday, and Kakamega on Saturday. There will be one young man who, in Mali, and the problem that emanated in Mali, because people saw this young man who was going to join Ijaton University, or Moy University, in September, to do... ICT. Um, he came out with his mother and was killed in the presence of his mother. He had nothing to do with any demonstrations or just um, watching what the police were doing. He will also be buried. Um, 
that young man's ambition in life was because a mother is a single mother to go study get a university degree come and put up a home for his mother you can imagine therefore how shattered that single mother is in a mali and as a result of that people came out and you can look at each of these cases where uh, as a result of the killer squad the people we saw all of them all of them had bullet wounds those who knew the ones who succumbed had them on the head on the chest but the majority of them were running away why why kill people who are running away uh, because the bullets were from the back so these are some of the things that we will share with the envoys and we expect them also not to be partisan in any way thank you thank you uh, can we have one more yes Uh, uh, at uh, our convenience, we have received their request, but we have also been talking to them because, like Martin Luther King once said, at the end of the day, we will not remember the harsh words of our friends, but the loud silence of our friends. They have been silent when people are getting killed here. Why would it take someone from Geneva? to issue a statement that was issued and they are here and they have not spoken. We will engage them at our convenience. Thank you very much.